Being able to view analytics is totally fine, but actually talking to your data makes way more sense. With Scoop Analytics, we're able to talk to it via AI, plus we'll be able to create white label presentations and much more. So let's get the Scoop on Scoop Analytics. So what the hell is Scoop Analytics? Well, it lets you talk to your data that you import. That means that you can bring data from different sources and talk to it via AI from Scoop. Now, the idea here is to make things way more easier than just trying to figure out what these analytics actually mean. Plus, you'll be able to create white label presentations with the data. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the deal that's going on right now. So right now, you can grab Scoop right now for a lifetime deal, and it's definitely a great deal. So let's go ahead and jump in here to show you what you're going to get for the available deals available on AppSumo. So right now, you can grab Scoop from $79 and all the way up to $289 for a license tier 3. Now, my sweet spot would be license tier 3 since you are going to get the AI analytics request per month. Now, that makes a big difference because you'll be able to take full advantage of the data that you're going to import into Scoop. But aside from that, you're going to get really good limits on tier 1 and 2. So make sure that if you don't need the request per month, you're definitely good to go with license tier one or two. Go ahead and pause this and check out what you're gonna get with this. Now, let's go ahead and jump into Scoop. So the main thing about Scoop is talking to your data in a way easier way than just trying to figure out what the analytics actually means. Or if you don't even have the analytics, but you have like raw data from a CSV, from Google Sheets, etc., you'll be able to talk to it via simple questions that you can understand. So one of the things I do like about the chat that they provide is that it can help you suggest a follow-up question that saves you time. So for example, I've been talking to it with this data set here, and it's already suggesting to me things that I can ask afterwards. So one of the main features that Scoop actually does is you can talk to your data via AI, which can be done by asking really simple questions and getting good results. So instead of trying to think what those analytics mean or the raw data from a CSV or a Google Sheet, you can actually talk to it and make things super easy. So for example, I can go ahead and get started with one of the suggestions here and it'll get started with processing steps. Now, if I don't want to view the processing steps, I can go ahead and turn this off and I have options like high query details or enable deep analyze. That means that it's going to jump into this and talk to it in a, it's going to think way more. Now, in this case, I've already been talking to it and I've got some results with data ha that has been loaded into this demo account. Now, what about the data? Where is this going to be pulled from? Well, well, there's several options for this. Let me jump into one of my workspace here. Let's go ahead and jump into this one. And I'm going to go into the sources section. I'll be able to create my first data source here. And there's several integrations that I can pull data from. Now, this makes things super easy because think about it. Google Ads is a lot of data. Sometimes it's a bit complex, especially if you're not a professional with Google Ads. Well, bring in that data, talk to it via AI and get really good results that you can actually understand. And it makes it super easy for us. So you got all these available sources as of this video that are available. Now, be aware that if the source is not available here, you can go ahead and do a file upload. So let's just say that you have um, a Shopify. Go ahead and export the data from Shopify via CSV and bring it inside of here and start talking to it. So you don't necessarily need to connect to one of these. And you have additional ways to connect like database and email. Once you get that going, you'll be able to kick off the insights to start talking to it like you saw over here on the tour scoop. Now, over here in the tour scoop, you got your insights. Go ahead and talk to it. Understand how it works. Get the flow. Get some graphs. Get things that you might need for the data that you just loaded in. But aside from that, we'll be able to create presentations that are white label. Now, here's one of the presentations that are created in the demo. So you can see here, there's a scoop tour overview and you get some details, some analytics that are going to load up here. And I can go ahead and edit this and make it to work the way I want it to by selecting this option. So in this case, I can bring in a summary, I can a sheet, a process diagram, etc. For example, a summary. Go ahead and bring it inside of here. And here we go. We got the new summary and click on these little stars and we can change the style. We can load data into here. So remember, this is data that I already have. So for example, this pipeline donut, bring it inside of here and it's going to load in the donut. So not a, lot, not a lot of information is available here, but you get the idea. You can bring this here, resize it, move it to wherever you want. You have several available options to create your custom presentations. Now, once you're good to go, you can actually run the presentation straight from here and go ahead and kick it off. Just as, just like you saw right now, here we go. Again, this is not loading right now because this is just the demo data. That's for the presentations. Then you got your Explorer. So just like File Explorer, 
but for your data. So you got your KPI data here. You got your, uh, let's scroll down here. You got your generated ones and you got different type of analytics that we can go ahead and select and preview here on the right. And then you also have the source metrics so open opportunities. This is the source that was already loaded inside of here, but you're able to view these, this data and combine them to get your own analytics. So right now we are getting this chart based on these three selections. So uh, the Q4 revenue plus the amount plus the, the expected revenue. Now this is just like random selection, but we're gonna get those inside of here to start viewing the graph. Now on the right, I'll be able to change the type of style. For example, table, chart, KPI. We can change the style, the chart title, the, the way it's going to be displayed, the limits, time ranges, etc. All that will be available here to start changing everything the way you want. So you can go ahead and customize the aspect of this chart right here in the Explorer. So it's kind of like File Explorer, but with data. So it's pretty cool, right? And for the sources, like I showed you, you'll be able to load in all your available sources right here by connecting it via the new data set. Now, in this case, I'm in the demo account, so I won't be able to add anything there, but I show you how that was possible here. So it's the idea here is to talk to your data via AI in a way that you can actually understand. So definitely check out Scoop. That's on a lifetime deal right now for starting at $79 for the LTD. But my recommendation would be license tier three. It's not because I'm trying to sell you more. It's because it includes the AI analytics. Plus you get the unlimited users. You get your 50 canvas data sources. So you get way more with the license tier three, especially when you got team members and you need to create a lot of workspaces. This would be the way to go. So if you want to check it out, link provided in the description to grab scoop analytics right now.